Hi, I'm Rachel, and this is Roxy. Welcome to My Sweet Digs, but before coming in, make sure you subscribe below. My apartment is about 1,000 square feet. It's a one and a half bed, one bathroom, and I pay $47.50 a month for it. I think the price is totally worth it because this building has so many amenities. There's a doorman, there's pool, steam room, gym, and you have this view, which is incredible. You definitely get a lot for what you're paying for. This is my front alcove when you first walk into my apartment. It's nice to have this extra space. There's also this dip in the wall, and I was thinking it'd be perfect for my wardrobe and my shoes. So I made this custom Ikea like wardrobe piece, which really helps me with like my everyday. And then I have the, the mirror right here, right before I go out the door in the morning. Now we're going to the kitchen. Well, my kitchen, I really like about it, how it's super clean and it's very big. It's like perfect size. I'm a very social person. I always have friends around, always hanging out with people. And this is honestly like the perfect place to have people over. So I set up like all the doors like right here and wine, cheese, all of that. My bar cart is right there. I realized when you guys came here, I didn't restock it with wine, but it's just a cute little bar cart over here that has all of my wines on it and some liquors for entertaining. My secret to keeping my apartment tidy is try to minimize clutter, which it's hard for me, but I managed to do it. And always clean up after yourself because if you don't clean up after yourself, it's still gonna be there and it's gonna be even more messy, so you might as well just clean up after yourself. My apartment pet peeves, number one, everyone that knows me, that knows me well, knows this is my biggest thing. Cabinets open, don't leave any cabinets open. What's the point of that or isn't a point? My friends come over and they leave the cabinets open purposely and I'm just like, you just really trying to like piss me off right now, aren't you? There's a spatula in my kitchen. So I was walking with my girlfriend down the street and we were talking about like deep conversations of life, how quickly it goes and things can happen like this. Out of nowhere, this spatula flies out of nowhere and skims me right, right on the nose, straight in front of me and it came down really hard and landed at our feet. And we were just like, did that just happen? Did someone just throw a spatula at us? We have no idea where it came from. So it was just one of those weird freak things that like, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna bring this home, put it in my kitchen, and I put the date in the back of it. So that kind of stuff is like how I collect things. And then this is my living room. I love most about this space is my couch and where I'm sitting literally right now. I can see the Freedom Tower and the water and all the fairies coming up. So this is really kind of like the sweet spot where I'm sitting right now. My home style, eclectic, sort of vintage. I guess a little feminine, a little strange. Corky, corky is the word, a little corky. I think the importance of having plants in your apartment, especially living in New York City, you don't see much green, like ever, because it's concrete jungle. So I like bringing life into here and having things that are growing and I just feel like it gives it more of a homey vibe to it. And I'm just, I'm just a plant lover. I am an actress and model for full time for a living. I think for sure it's influenced the way I live in my home. I've always been around really amazing people, really cool things and I kind of just brought this into my home and made it kind of mine. I'm in the creative business. It just brings the whole dark vibe into here as well. Another like hobby actually I have is antiquing. I just get random things and I'm like, oh, this will look good. And I was at this thrift shop and it's like these gold spoons are insane. Every letter in the alphabet, it could have been any letter, R. It was like my initial on them. Obviously, I need to have these. <laughs> like, these are made for me. So yeah, that was kind of a really amazing find. I got super excited. This apartment is a huge step up, A, because no one's lived in this unit. My first apartment that I moved into, it was a walk up and I was living in like, it wasn't like the best place. But one day I woke up with a cockroach, dead cockroach in my bed. I was like, oh, maybe it's time to move now. And then my second apartment, I'm like, what is that? I'm like, what's, what is that noise? I heard this like chirping noise behind the oven. There was a dead mice behind my oven. I'm like, oh my God, there's beans. Like there's one, there's a bunch. I found a hole in the bottom of my wall. The mice chewed through. I'm not kidding. The hole in the wall was like this big. So I've had some horror stories at each of one of my apartments. None here, so I think this is the winner <laughs> for sure. And then this way is my bedroom. Honestly, I didn't really have a vibe going for this room. I just wanted to be really clean and kind of crisp, just simple, no clutter. I actually collect a lot of perfumes and sunglasses and jewelry. Basically everything. <laughs> These are really ugly lamps next to my bed. These are like um, scarves. I wear them sometimes when I like, have a little look on. And I was like, maybe these will look cute over here. So I just threw them on top of there and it gives it like a total different vibe. Especially at night, it's like gives off like homey, relaxed tint. New York gets really cold obviously in the wintertime. So you'll see I have a ton of sweatshirts and sweaters in my closet, but I have them all stacked up above in a like very orderly fashion. So you can see everything when I'm about to take it out. 
you just know exactly where everything is. Dresses on the left with everything long, going down to shirts and other things. A lot of storage in this apartment, which is amazing. I've been living in New York now for like eight years, so I've collected a lot of things. Storage is like massive. I have, especially with the industry I'm in, I have a lot of clothes. And then here's my bathroom where I spend also a lot of my time where I get ready in the morning. I don't really dislike anything in my bathroom. It's really well lit and there's, there's three massive mirrors in there. You pull them open and all my beauty products are in there. Beauty must-haves that I have in my bathroom. Spritz, face spritz, so like throughout the day to refresh your face. Rose hip oil, I know it's super random, but this oil I put on probably like every night and it just, I wake up the next morning feeling so glowing and fresh. Um, a really good eye cream, some retinol, and always a moisturizer. I think right when I walked in this apartment, I knew this is like the one, as they say, the one. My next dream apartment, even though I love this one, would probably be exposed brick in like a lofty kind of vibe. So my bed's up above and then kitchen and everything down below so I can walk up some stairs. But exposed brick probably would be my next one. Thanks for watching my sweet digs. To subscribe to Refinery29, click here. And to watch more videos, click here.